Hello everyone. In the previous video, we discussed about the Pareto chart. In this video, we shall be discussing about another 7QC tool called as scatter diagram. A scatter diagram, also called as a scatter plot, is used to study the relationship between two variables. It is easier to spot trends or patterns depicting the relationship through the scatter diagram. It is among one of the basic tools to study the correlation between the two variables. In scatter diagram, both the variables are paired and plotted on y and x axis of the graph and the data generated at their intersection is plotted. Consider this scatter plot. It shows the data of a society with expenditure on luxury items per annum on y-axis and the age of the individual on x-axis. So we just need to focus on this trend. So this trend depicts a useful relationship between the expenditure and the age. As we can see and interpret, as the age increases, the expenditure on luxury items also increase. But as soon as the age reaches 40 and goes beyond, the data shows that the expenditure decreases significantly. Quite an enlightening inference. Let us try to plot a scatter diagram through MS Excel. Let us consider this data. The results of the student is compared with the number of hours of study they did for the exam. At first, select the data. Click on the insert tab. Now in the graph section, click on scatter and select the simple scattered diagram. Here we are with the scatter plot. Now if we analyze this plot, then look at the cluster which is at the top. It shows that those students who studied for 2 hours, 2.5 hours and 3 hours are the ones who have scored the maximum, especially the ones with the 2.5 hours of study. Moreover, the correlation between the hours of study and the marks obtained is depicted by this trend. It says that as the number of hours of study increase, then the marks are also better. But if the study hours per day are beyond 2.5 to 3 hours, then the marks can also decrease. At least this is what this scatter is suggesting us. Scatter diagram is just a foundation in the world of correlation. It leads to much more insights and predictions when used rigorously through regression. Additionally, we can also have a best fit line within a scatter plot, which would help us to create a predictive equation. These type of applications shall be discussed in the other video related to the predictive analytics. So to summarize, use scatter plot when you have a numerical data. You have two paired variables. When you intend to find the relationship between variables or you want to test the cause of a problem with the result. That's it for now. In the next video, we shall discuss about the control charts. Feel free to write your queries, suggestions and feedback in the comment section. Thank you and see you all in the next video.